Happy April 18th. Happy, happy middle of April. Happy middle of spring. We're in the middle. The middle is a really hard place to be energetically because you don't have that like anticipation and getting all the school supplies and the fun of starting something. And you're not close enough that you can almost taste the goal and you're like, all right, fine. I really don't want to put this last 15, 10% in, but I know that when I do, I'll be done. I will have completed something. And so that pushes you through. You're in that middle. And because Easter was all the way back in March this year, April is going to feel like a really, really long middle feeling. Like the whole month of April is kind of like, I'm pretty sure I should be doing something. What should I be doing right now? In May, what am I going to wish that I had done in April? And to be honest, I've been thinking about this for days because I know you want to know. I don't even know. Like, I don't even know. I'm like, I know I should be doing something, but I don't even know what that would be. So we've started the next quarter. We've got our, our work trains. We're already into the second quarter of the year. You've probably started some new projects at work. So you have that energy, but you're probably waiting for the events you have scheduled in May or the end of school if you have kids or the official start of the summer, which will be uh, Memorial Day. And you've got a long, a long period of time, like six weeks before Memorial Day. That's a long, long time. So how can we use this time? We're always trying to find more time and now we kind of have time, but we don't know what to do with it. You don't know what to do with this springtime. So what I'm going to talk to you about this week is we're going to talk about the color blue inside of your Sunday basket. So our Productive Home Solution train is going to be pulling into the station for planning day prep and the planning day experience in two weeks. We are two weeks away. So what can you do between now and planning day in order to make that planning day go better and also take advantage of this lull in activity that we have here in April? Last week, I talked to you about the color green inside of the Sunday basket, all related to green and money, and we paid our taxes and we moved on from that. This week, I wanna talk about blue. So we're gonna be talking about our blue slash pocket. Blue is the color of people. So blue is your people color. It's the color for your spouse if you have one, kids, parents, siblings, neighbors, anything related to people is your blue color. This is my Sunday basket here. When you do the holiday blitz, we have this holiday blitz bundle. And in the holiday blitz bundle is this sapphire blue basket and also a hunter green basket. They're not in the shop right now, and the bundle is not available right now, but many, many, many of you have one. And as we're getting ready to switch from the first trimester into the second trimester at home, we used this basket going into December for our new year basket, and this held everything we wanted for 2024. Now we've been focusing a lot on our green basket, which is down below that you can't see, holding everything related to taxes and this week we retired that. We're like, great, moving on. We're done paying taxes. We're done with that green basket. We also don't need that green basket for the holidays yet. That green basket will just sit folded up until we get to the fall, unless you have another idea of how you wanna use that basket. But it's time to pull the blue one out. So if you have the Holiday Blitz bundle and you have the Sapphire basket, or you might have a teal or another color, this is the basket you're gonna pull out because let me just tell you, I don't know if you know this or not. You may not realize this is one of the hats that you wear, but one of the hats that you wear is that you, you are where all the fun comes from. People think that we magically have picnics come out of nowhere, vacations, you know, what are you doing for Memorial Day? All of these things, someone has to plan it. Someone has to get the burgers and the dogs. You know what I mean? Like somebody's got to do the planning for the fun and the merriment. And that's what I want you to think about this week. I want you to think about the blue people that are in your life right now in this season of life that you're going to be spending time with from now until the end of the summer. And I want to give you permission to dream. I want you to dream about what you're going to do for yourself, what you're going to do with the significant others that you cohabitate with. And each person has their own slash bucket. Oh, looks like I dropped some of my slash buckets. Uh, oh no, I lost some of my people. That is what happens when we don't plan, right? And this is what we do in planning day. And this is what I do as a household manager all the time. If you do not live by yourself, even if you have a pet, as soon as you have a pet, you start doing this. All of us who have other heartbeats that are in our house do this. We're like, okay, this weekend I am going to what? Okay, what is the dog doing? What is the cat doing? What is my spouse doing? What are my children doing? What are my parents that I'm responsible for doing? What is the neighborhood doing? What are, like? We start to filter through what everybody else is doing this weekend or what 
obligations they have or opportunities they have available. And we start to give our time, our money, and our energy to all these different people and all these different obligations. Someone is coordinating the soccer schedule that you're going to or the pickleball tournament that you're um, responsible for or the annual trip to the beach or the annual family reunion that you have. Somebody is already starting to plan those things. And I wanna to say to you, what do you wanna plan? What do you wanna see? And if there are some things like, we go to the beach every single year, cause that's where uh, my husband's family lives. They live down in Florida, so we go vi visit them every year. And when I started realizing that, okay, so the when we go, where we go, pretty much what we do when we're there is not dependent on me. Somebody else is planning all of that. And it was probably about a decade ago when I decided, you know, I wanna have more say in my trip because this is the only trip that we take this is the one trip that we take and it's all pre-planned but i wanted to have some of the planning so i started to realize you know there are a lot of things that i could buy and take with me so i saw these really cool chinese lanterns that you um put a candle in them and they're big paper lanterns and they can float up over the ocean and i bought those online and i brought them down and we did them the next year then the next year I was like, you know what? We're at the beach for a whole week. I could buy a puzzle at Walmart when I'm down there and complete a puzzle and just leave it in the condo when I leave. So I started buying a puzzle every year when I go to Florida. And I realized that there are a lot of things that I could do that would make me happy on this trip that I could plan for me. This is my vacation. This is my one vacation of the year. How do I want to spend it? We have more control than we realize when we, when we really start to dream about how we can do things and what we can do. And so that's what I wanna do is offer you that opportunity of how do you wanna spend your summer this year? What are the things that went well last year? What are the things that didn't go well last year? What is it when you get to September every year, you go, ah, oh, I wish I would have, what? And is there a way that you could do that this year, especially if you start planning it now? Here's the secret, here's the secret. In order to plan, you must dream. You cannot plan something you haven't really thought about, dreamt about, and hoped was possible for you. So for the next two weeks, I want you to really be dreaming about what is possible so that when we get to planning day and I walk you and orchestrate through, you know, like how are you gonna get your housework done? Where is your time automatically going? What's the big household project you wanna do? How are we gonna divide that out? I want you to have a lot of ideas in your head about how to do that. And so that's what I'm telling you to do this week is dreaming. When was the last time someone said on your to-do list this week, I want you to do dreaming. That's what April is this year for us because Easter was so early and we have this prolonged uh, spring without a lot of big events in there. We have this April that doesn't have a lot of big things that are going to take everyone's time that we are communally relating with. We have a lot of dreaming time. So spend this time dreaming about what you want your summer to be, what is possible, and then join us for planning day. Two weeks to go. Remember, you could save $200 until the next time you see one of these videos. Have a great week.